hysteria. We're almost there. <laughs> it's been a while. Can you believe you've been gone for two years? I wonder how much it's changed. Hey, did you hear? Unfortunately for him, the boss went and opened himself a store. Minnie's got two of them now. Can't wait to see that. <laughs> ah, finally, we've reached Barbado Port. Boss! It's been a long time, you jackass! You just up and left without a word almost two years ago! Uh, come on, boss, don't be like that. We, we heard you'd open the store and decided we'd come visit. <laughs> I see. In that case, I'll go easy on you. I'm glad you came too, Adol. Follow me. Everyone will be in shock. Last you saw it. Nothing's changed more than you, eh, boss? I heard through the grapevine that you've given up being abandoned. If so, that's a relief. Thieving is dangerous work for someone your age. <laughs> hey, watch it. Even though I've quit, just remember I'm still in charge of you. That hasn't changed. <laughs> Whatever works for you, boss. At least some things are still the same around here. Boss anymore. I'm now Mr. Govan of the Trading Post. <laughs> that doesn't suit you at all. It shouldn't get you again. Hey, everyone! Adol and Gogi are back! Come on, let's 
Let's go back to my store. You can sleep it off for tonight. And check out the rest of Hysteria in the morning. Well, we're here now, guys. This here is my shop. Come in and make yourselves at home.
Good, I've almost been bored to death. The name's Durin. I was walking to the port and stumbled across some drunken soldiers. They arrested me three days ago. And threw me an ear, damn them. A similar story with you, I'm guessing?
I never thought I'd see you here, my boy. You remember me, Blair Rawl, the doctor of Rance Village. Why am I here? I've been looking around for this curious flower called the Salsetta. I have been told that it can be turned into a medicine that can cure any ailment. With all these demons running around, I'm afraid I'm going to be stuck here for a while, my boy. You know, it just so happens I know the village elder. I'll introduce you to him.
We, we must protect Lord Slano's tomb from the clan of darkness. Lemnos, what in the world happened to you? He'll die if we don't get him some help. Adolf, we're going to take Lemnos back to the village. Be careful on your way back.
unable to figure out how to get that door open. Well, I guess we're in your debt. Are you people the Clan of Darkness? to die either way. And I am Garuda. That mystic one's very existence in this world is a hindrance to our plan. Bonnie, kill them. transform anything into a demon. Now, my lovely, kill these two! You're not half bad. But, this time we'll be different. I'll turn you both into horrifying monsters! Huh? What the? Death! The soul we need. Luck is on your side, you two. Go! <laughs> Bet that master Slona was angry. Adol, we need to get out of here.
land. Hear my thoughts. In the distant past, a nation was founded on a small continent in the Great Dural Sea. Its name was LD. It was a land of beings with mighty wings. LD held a power source greater than heaven. Under the divine protection of the masculine sun, it flourished for 1,000 years and seven months. However, a great cataclysm was visited on the land, and in the course of one night, it sank beneath the sea. None live now know why it happened. Southern Europe, on the coast of Salsetan, the few Eldenian survivors escaped to this area by using the power of the mask of the sun. With the skills and devices of Eldin, the undeveloped land of Salsetta grew into the continent's most productive farmland. However, those folks who prospered so grew corrupt and greedy. The land was split into two bitterly warring factions. The war-torn Salsetta was conquered with the schemes and trickery of a man known as the Lord of Slava. That man was Aaron. And thus, Salsetta was plunged into a dark
spirit of the great forest. The wicked creatures that surround this area grow in strength and numbers daily. As you have passed off test, so too will your power grow. Even the weak can stand in the presence of the spirit. You must now proceed further into the great woods.
looks like that red-haired swordsman has gotten Talim's power, too. I see. He is just getting stronger and stronger. This is no good. What? Well, if only I killed him then. He's dead the next time I see him. I'm sure he's still around here somewhere. Now, hold on. Don't be so hasty. We'll come back to the holy ground. But now we have to report in. Again? Why do we always have to ask him for instructions at every turn? Haven't we been over this? First, we have to gain his confidence. Once we have... Yeah, yeah, I did it. Whatever you say.
prepared was pretty stupid of you. Now, just hand over those two mystic wands you have. It'll be an even trade, you get me? Don't do it! You can't trust these people! Shut up! If you don't comply, I'll gutter like a fish. Got it! <laughs> That's perfect. Now, just sit back and watch closely as the girl dies. You're just as big a coward as ever, Garuda. Sorry. What the hell are you doing here? I come here looking for the gold city and I find my old comrade. What's wrong? <laughs> No warm welcome for Master Durin, former clansman of darkness. Bah! You deserted the clan like a coward. And you dare to show your face here and now? I'll kill the lot of you! Back off, Bobby. We have the wands. We don't have to waste any more time on these fools. Let's go! I don't see any gold anywhere! Man, what a massive disappointment! Oh, right. And just so you know, I'm not in league with those people anymore. I cut ties with the Clan of Darkness some time back. Of course, you can believe me or not, your choice. But you need to follow them. Don't worry about the girl, I'll protect her. You just head in after them. Come here. Oh, you're adult Christian? <laughs> My name is Eldil, descendant of the Great Winged Ones. I've heard about you. It's an honor to meet the fabled savior of ease. I have something I wish to show you. Think back to the final battle for ease with the demon known as Dar. Did he look something like this? <laughs> Surprise. I'm sure you never expected to see this stone again. Your black pearl. My people know it as the speaking stone. The Speaking Stone holds the secrets of the Ancients, and is a source of magic. However, it is grossly misunderstood. While the Stone commands great power, it is nothing more than a tool. And now, the power of the Speaking Stone will be conferred to me. Behold!
is my house. When you were knocked out, Mr. During carried you all the way here. Then he said he was going to try and track down those three of the clan. My father, Schultz, has something he wants to tell you. Please hear him out. I haven't the words to thank you for saving Lisa. Perhaps you have the power to save Sosetta, Adolf. I will tell you our secret. The winged ones in the sacred district, throughout many generations, attended to their ancient duty. That duty was me. None of the villagers except for the elder and my father know that I visit the sacred district. I do not know why that man inhabits the sacred district, but he is the last survivor of the winged ones. Eldil used to be very kind-hearted. He was always glad to see me. No matter what kind of boring stuff I'd talk about, he'd always listen. I was so happy just to be around him. Something about him changed somehow. He became quiet and brooding and would go off somewhere for days at a time. Lately, he never lets me visit him. My daughter said he changed, but that change didn't occur until after the Clan of Darkness showed up in this land. I'm certain that those three did something to poison his mind. Please, Adel. Stop the Clan of Darkness and save Eldeel. No, save all of Silsetta.
thyself set as guardian deity, Lord Lafonce. Swordsman, if the sealed power is released, all life in the world will be in torment. In the service of justice, all barriers can be overcome. I will grant you the power to traverse distances in an instant.
Ridley won't yell at you if you go instead. Oh, and if you ever come to Libra, maybe we can play. Well, Swordsman, we're going to head back to Libra. Feel free to visit us anytime.
still following us around? You're a persistent one. You still don't get that there's nothing you can do against us, do you? Ah, I'll just kill him now! <laughs> no, no, just killing him won't be any fun. I've got a much better idea in mind. <laughs> what a perfect fit! Now you'll roam the forest for the end of your wretched days! So, that's where the seek fact is. Now it's clear where the Mask of the Moon is. Garuda, go. Begin your preparations. As you wish, Master El Hill. Go! The seal upon the mask of the 
son, must never be broken.
find the Golden City, we need that mask. That is precisely it. With the Mask of the Moon, the Golden City will be yours. <laughs> Very well, then. My men are at your command. And you'll bring it back to me. What's this? I've never seen anything like it. This was seized from that red-haired swordsman a while ago when he was arrested nearby. He probably stole it from someone. It feels comfortable to hold, but none of us can use it. Do whatever you wish with it. I humbly thank you. Now then, Goddess will depart for Hysteria. Leave it to me, sir. I'll bring you the Mask of the Moon without fail. Yes, I'll await your good news. <laughs>
I hoped that if I waited under this tree, you'd come to see me. I came here every day believing it would happen. I don't mean to hold you up. As long as you're well, that's all I care about.
Keys. Much as I hate it, there's no time to celebrate our reunion. Your strength is needed once more. Have you been well, Adol? It's Lair. According to the stone tablet you carry, we goddesses came originally from Eldine, homeland of the Winged Ones, along with the Black Pearl. Please think back to the legends of the Great Forest. We left Eldine for Salceta, as did the Mask of the Sun, with the Winged Ones of that time. Eldil is the last of their kind. Even now, he seeks to break the seal on the Mask of the Sun, now so deeply buried. In order to unearth that power, he needs the Mask of the Moon. It was stolen from the Salsetan dynasty 700 years ago by Sieg Fax, who took it to Hysteria. He then used the power of the Mask of the Moon to spawn Dawn. Dawn's revival two years ago was because of his direct actions. So long did he live. Indeed, Sieg Fax is the original form of Dark Fax. Eldeel and his servants are frantically searching for the Mask of the Moon. Now, we will give it to you. The Mask of Eyes used to reveal hidden passages. It is, in truth, the Mask of the Moon itself. Whatever happens, you must safeguard it, please. Uh, Adol! Someone's coming!
the great Gaddis personally! For the honor of the Clan of Darkness, you will never escape this tower alive! You're dead! Yeah! <laughs> 
Keith will probably recover. Keith! Lilia! Are you guys all right? Dogie! I heard the whole thing and came running after you guys. What the hell happened in here? Uh, I am all right. Gaddis used some transformation technique on me. And I... I'm sorry, everyone. I'm the descendant of a priest of mental discipline. And I let myself get controlled. Don't worry, Keith. Come on, let's get out of here! Given him the medicine. Now we'll just let time take its course. Oh. Huh? Grandpa? Oh, Jim, you understand me? <laughs> of course I can. Don't worry so much, Grandpa. Ugh. If you hadn't rescued me, I think I would have been bored forever. I've got to go play a while. Hey, hey, wait, 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 Tim, it's, da it's dangerous out. You don't leave the village, you hear me? Uh, I swear that kid's going to be the death of me. But he's well again, so that's what matters. Dr. Flair, and all, thank you. Thank you very much. If, if not for you two, I... I... Oh... <laughs> Well, I'm glad we got here in time. So what are you going to do now? Me? Well, I'm going to go... Well, the guys, you're in the way! Well, it sure does look like Tim's doing a lot better. <laughs> huh? Hey, what's with you? <laughs> Knock it off! That tickles! Aw. Hey, wait up! Hey, Tim! Wait! Adel, I really think it's important that we keep this between you and me. For now, at least. You know, the villagers already have enough problems as it is. What's that, my boy? Ah, he couldn't have gotten far. I mean, he just left.
Hey, mister. I get it. You want to take me home, right? Not gonna happen. you, Adolf. Oh, of course. <laughs> How pathetic of me. I got all worried about you when followed you all the way here from Asteria. What do I find? Well, uh, no, I guess that Karna girl guided me as far as the water village. And then I tracked you all the way here from there. But if I hadn't shown up when I did, you'd probably be dead, so that hey, means... Hey, mister, who's this? It was you. You led Adolf to a place like this. A anyway, let's hurry up and get out of here. Oh, shut up. Come on, let's go!
hold it. It's just you and me this time. <laughs> it's me, Gaddis. Remember me from Darn Tower? I remember you. You may have killed me once. However, Master Eldiel gave me one last chance for redemption. This time will be different. Now you die!
disciples will be granted an audience with Lord LaFont. I will confer unto you the power of light to banish the darkness. Before the holy light, wicked creatures are shamed by their own black hearts. This magic will freeze those of evil purpose.
is our own, so too is his power. The moon illuminates even the darkest of nights. That which your eyes see is not the only reality. Look with your mind's eye. It will see only the truth. Yeah. <laughs> 
Salsetta, and of its greatest power. You now stand deep underneath the great forest in El Duran, the ancient capital of Salsetta. The mask of the sun is sealed away here. Minions of evil do not understand its fearsome power and seek to break the seal. You must understand, the source of the power which sank the kingdom of Eldeen is concealed in this great woodland. When the winged ones used the mask of the moon to control the mask of the sun, it reawakened that same power. If Eldeel acquires it, all of the land will be reduced to cinder and ash. Take this wand. When bathed in its light, no attack shall harm you. The six magics have now been gathered here. But at present, you will still find it difficult to defeat the darkness. I will now bestow my righteous intent unto your magic power. Adel, go to the lakeside ruins. Whatever happens, you must halt the restoration of the Mask of the Sun. justice. 
all of the people who lived in constant fear. But one day, fate brought a hero to stand against the hero. That hero was the fox. He, along with his followers, fought under the flag of fellowship and justice, and thus overthrew the Lord of Slaughter. Slano, the military warrior without peer. Talon, the mystic, unsurpassed in the world. Miyu, the wizard of the earth. Rainy, the wise and learned diplomat. And Tori, sorceress of light. They would later be called the Five Disciples, and fought alongside the Fox against Aram's forces. At the end of the bloody battle, Lafonts and his five disciples defeated Aram. The ruined earth again knew the light of hope. With the overwhelming support of the people, Lafonts founded the Selsetan dynasty with himself as ruler. The newly crowned king took a ferry to Aldee, land of the winged ones, where he was given the source of greatest power, the mask of the sun. King Lafonts used that power to build a great citadel overnight, and the mask was enshrined at its center in the Temple of the Sun. Then, to help control the power of the mask, a twin was fashioned, the Mask of the Moon. The Salsetan dynasty, with the blessings of the two masks, saw unprecedented prosperity, with humans and winged ones working in peace and brotherhood. And thus, a golden age began. After the demise of the Fox, the Five Disciples, the power of the Mask of the Sun was handed down to their descendants. Several hundred years had passed, and eventually, the peaceful times of Salsetta came to an end. Then, the dark sorcerer, Sieg Fact, made his appearance. Sieg had borrowed the military strength of the mighty Roman Empire, and began his invasion, seeking the Mask of the Sun. It was believed that the Fox's fortress city would be able to withstand any assault but then, tragedy struck. The Mask of the Sun's only controlling influence, the Mask of the Moon, fell on the Seek Fact's hands. Seek used the power of the Mask of the Moon to subvert the Mask of the Sun to his twisted purpose. Because of this, the Mask of the Sun became unstable, and eventually, a great crisis befell Salsetta. Earthquakes, famine, pestilence, and demons appeared. At their wit's end, the descendants of the five disciples used the last of their strength. In order to seal away the power of the rampaging mask of the sun, the entire city was sunken deep into the earth. In time, the entire area was covered with forest. The ground of Selseta was swallowed by the dense sea of trees. There now remains no evidence that it ever existed at all. Like something big is starting at the lakeside ruins. 
There are a lot of demons gathering around there. Oh, and I saw that guy with the wings flying off towards the ruin. He's carrying a girl. It was too far off to see clearly, but I think it was Lisa. You be careful. there. Ada! You. I'm surprised you're still alive. Oh, ho ho. It looks like you're under LaFonza's protection. But we will have nothing to fear once the power is mine. Whatever you do, you're too late. It is time. No one can stop me now. It has begun! I won't let you interfere! Our ambitions will now be realized. At long last. But first, you and I have some unfinished business. Attack me, boy!
Mask of the Sun, trapped within the depths of the earth, heed my call and appear unto me! restored mask of the sun and the ancient city i offer up this sacrifice <laughs> please please cooperate i need your blood why we served you so winningly in the first place. The Clan of Darkness has only one true purpose, to use the mask of the sun to resurrect our clan ruler, Lord Aram. We thank you from the bottom of our hearts for your unwitting and oh-so-loyal assistance. <laughs> Adolf, that sword you used to have is an outstanding quality. <laughs> you can just sit and watch as this whole land 
birds before the might of Lord Aram! Lisa, I have no right to ask you this. Please, forgive me. I was so wrong. Seven hundred years guarding has finally been broken at last. We could condemn the winged one for his actions, but it would solve nothing. Our only option, now that Arrow is being resurrected, is to banish the Mask of the Sun forever to oblivion. But in order to do that, you must have the seventh magic. Only one magic can oppose the Mask of the Sun, and that is Eldoran. It is the ultimate magic, created by the Mask of the Sun itself. Adol, you must go to the ancient city. There, you must put a stop to this catastrophe. Now. Let us go, Eldeal, to that peaceful place where your people await you. You need never be alone again. touch his heart until the end Adolf let's go back to the Paro village please take me home Okay, I don't really understand everything, but this is all the work of the Clan of Darkness, right? 
Those demons out there are multiplying like crazy. So we better keep quiet. All right, I'll come with you. Let's get out of here. Ritual is happening in this bronze part of the city, and it looks like this gate is the only way inside. But how do we get it open? Ah, what a pain in my ass. I'll just bust my way through. Jeez, that was close. What the hell was that? <laughs> Sorry about that. That was just so we could get into the city. The ancient treasures will be mine! Er, I mean the Roman Empire. Unless you have a death wish, I suggest you stand aside. Men, charge! Get out of my way, fool!
this it? Is this the ancient treasure? What? What the? There's nothing in here. Why was I only chasing wealth? Is this my punishment? Those moons may have stopped me before, but this time, I'll break through myself. <laughs> no wall can stand against the mighty Doki. Come on, Adolf. Let's hurry on through. The hey, look out! Clumsy of me. <laughs> uh, don't don't worry about me though. This is barely a scratch. I can. Oh, oh, damn it! I uh, I'm no good. I can't fight with you like this. I uh, Adolf, can you call that homing pigeon of Carnus? Ah, uh, uh, I'll send a letter so I can ask for help. Get this on your leg. Now go. Please take this message straight to Karna. I'll be all right. Get a move on.
I figured that you'd come here. You are strong enough to take out Goddess and Barmy. And I respect that. Perhaps it's true that Lord Adam's hatred has led us to this very point. But, when the error of darkness comes, it will all be worth it. Now, come at me, Ador. I'll give your head to Lord Adam as a gift!
Seventh magic, Elderon, will be broken. Now, the clarion has been changed into the strongest magical metal, Elderon. This is the power of the seventh magic. With this equipment, you can destroy the mask of the sun. Now go, Adol, to the temple of the sun where Arrow sleeps.
Adolf, the final challenge is at hand. We, the disciples, we use the last of our strength to increase the power of the mask of the moon. Wipe away your fear. Aram's strength is beyond your imagination. However, you must not hesitate. Everything depends on you. All that we are, we entrust to you now.
has come to an end. The great power has been restored to its proper place. Our ancient capital has vanished. With our mission accomplished, so too will our spirits. just started floating. And now the whole thing's gone. So, everything is over now. No, that's not true. Now we have a new beginning. Free from the curse of the past. That's right. If that thing were always floating over our heads, I don't think I'd ever be able to sleep again better this way, I suppose. Adel, let's get back to the village. I'm sure everyone's worried about you. I think I'll just stick around here and help rebuild. I just feel like this is where I should be right now. And that this is something that I should do. Not to bring up the past or anything, but I think it comes from being a part of the Clan of Darkness myself. You see, they've basically always been hated. No place to call home, and I can at least understand that. Adel, I've decided I'm going to stay here at least until Belt grows up. And I'm going to leave this place open for the public. Hey, mister. You've got to come play with me again sometime. Huh? You don't look too happy about that. That's not very heroic of you. Just kidding. Do you remember me? We met in Venus Village. Ah, look at my son. The emblem of the sage is gone from his forehead, and he is a normal baby again. Now we can live as a normal mother and son. I honestly can't thank you enough. All I could do is try to live life to the fullest on behalf of those sacrifices. Come to visit Selfetta again someday. I think I'll finally be able to greet you with a smile then. Please, take care. I'll never forget you. We should make sight of land soon now. Let me tell you about my homeland, Felgana.
we'll stop there for today. I want to hear more. Yeah, what's the next story? I'll read more next time. There are still many more adventures. Oh, please read more. I'm sorry, children, but I really must prepare dinner. Oh, come oh, on, please. Come on.